Nick L, Gail, the guy you know. I'm here with the host from Windy City Live, Ryan Shiberini. Thanks again for taking out of your busy time, I mean busy day. I know you have a crazy schedule, so. Yeah, no problem. It's, it's interesting because you open the segment. I'm so used to opening the show. <laughs> it's kind of nice to have you open it. So yeah, um, you know, I know you've been, how's your life changed basically since three years ago when you first, you know, began the show the week after Oprah ended? Well, you know, it was interesting because I was a sportscaster for a long time, and I still remember, I don't think I'll ever forget where I was when I got the call, because we had auditioned for this show so many times. I auditioned back, you know, three years ago in October, and here it was, February, still didn't know. I had done about 20 auditions. Mm -hmm. They brought in so many people that you kind of just wrote it off and thought, ah, I'm probably not going to get it. Yeah. So I was covering the Cubs in the Sox, and my phone rang, and it was the big boss, and when I picked it up, she, uh, she basically said, hey, we chose you. We want to know if you want to host this show. And uh, it's been a whirlwind. It's been incredible. I can't believe we're coming up on our three-year anniversary. When the announcement was made, it was on the cover of Yahoo.com in the Midwest. And it said, Oprah, here are your replacements. And I, I didn't want that because nobody was going to replace her. And we certainly haven't done that. But we've kind of built our own thing. We've, we've done something completely different and something that hasn't been done in Chicago in a very long time, not since Oprah was a local show. Mm -hmm. So um, we're really proud of kind of where, we, where we're at, but man, it's gone fast. Yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm so happy for it, you know, like, because I was so happy it's something not, not, it's not Chicago. I'm happy it's something in the city. Where, yeah, and you know, we get to really showcase together. the city and we've had a lot of major, major celebrities that have come right from Chicago that a lot of people mm -hmm. may not know. Yeah. And so it's great to be able to feature them. And, and for me, it's incredible because I did sports for so long that people kind of just see you as this yeah. sports guy. <laughs> and it's like everywhere you'd go in town, it's like, hey, who should I have on my fantasy team? What move should the Bears yeah. make? And so it, now it's nice because when you talk to people, they see you in a different light and mm -hmm. they know that you have other interests and that you like yeah. music, you know, and that you can speak about, you know, politics and what's going on in the city. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you have other things that you care about and are passionate about. Okay, cool. And then um, I know you have a segment on the show called Two Minute, um, <laughs> Two Minute Warning. Yeah. Um, who has been your favorite guest so far, you know? Oh, that's, that's really tough. <laughs> that's tough. You know, Kevin Hart is up there. He comes to mind. Uh, Jay Farrow is great from Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mike Tyson is actually one of my favorites. He is, because uh, you never know what's going to come out of his mouth. Yeah, true. So typically, though, the comedians, they have a leg up. I mean, they're yeah. funny guys by nature. Mm -hmm. So those are some of my favorites. Um, we have them all on our website, yeah. and so we always tell people to, you know, sometimes we have people vote on what their favorites were. Uh, Monique actress was she was yeah. fantastic <laughs> on the two minute warning uh, but the comedians are definitely the funnier ones mm -hmm. although some people will surprise you like I, I did one with Larry King and he was really really great because you, you know you walk in Larry King is like a legend right yeah. and you don't know if he's gonna take himself too seriously mm -hmm. or not and he was fantastic so um, I'm always looking for the next one you know I'm always looking for the next funny uh, bit that we can do with a celebrity okay, cool. And I know uh, two of your favorite hobbies are playing hockey and guitar. Yeah. Uh, which one do you favor a little more? Let's say? Oh, that's <laughs> tough, Nick. If I had to choose, like if I had a gun to my head, uh, I, I, I would have to pick the guitar. I, I'm a music guy. My, um, I grew up in a music family. Mm -hmm. My father makes his living as a singer and guitarist. He actually's got a song on the Pulp Fiction soundtrack. Oh, okay. Uh, cool. Track 15, Surf Riders, his song. So I grew up listening to music and um, I got really serious about it when I was in my mid-20s and um, I, I probably play the guitar and write. I, I definitely play every day mm -hmm. and I try to write some of my own stuff. We're actually working on a Chicago theme song. Oh, okay. I'm giving you some insight <laughs> here uh, and um, we're hoping to, to launch it for charity here in okay. town. So we're, we're trying to do that in time for the summer. But I do love playing hockey yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. So um, who is one person, you know, that you want to interview on your bucket list where you're just like, you know, before I retire, that you're just like, it has to, it has to get done. That's easy for me. It's, uh, don't, don't, don't judge. Okay. It's Tom Cruise, man. Since we were kids, you're, you're probably not much younger than me, but since we were kids, I mean, he was such a megastar. Yeah. And I still remember the first movie I saw in the drive-thru, uh, drive-thru, drive-in, uh, was uh, Top Gun, mm -hmm. and I was a kid, and um, the guy's career has been so incredible, and uh, I just think that he would be amazing, and a lot of people on my staff have, have had him on shows that they've worked on and said that he is like incredibly charismatic, friendly, 
signs autographs like crazy and takes pictures with everybody. Yeah. So I've heard good things about the guy. Uh, I think he, he would be incredible because for my generation, he's like the movie star. I mean, he is what Robert De Niro is for maybe a little yeah, bit of yeah. the older generation. And I feel like we don't have them anymore. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Leo, like, I think Leo's coming yeah. up, right? Leo mm -hmm. is kind of like one of the, the big, big yeah. movie star of like our generation. Yeah. But Tom Cruise was the guy, you know, watching Top Gun and, you know, Days of Thunder and Color of Money and all, all the movies he's done. I would think about that guy's played like everything you could humanly yeah. do in life. Every kind he's of done. Role. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing, yeah. Okay, cool. It's amazing that he hasn't won an Oscar yet. Really? Yeah, nominated it twice, but he hasn't won. won. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I didn't know. know that. Yeah. yeah. So um, what are some of your favorite spots, you know, to go to Chicago? Either, you know, restaurant, club, arena, venue? Yeah, you know, I'm getting too old for the club, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, uh, I like the nightlife, though. I like, um, I like River North. I like a great, you know, martini bar, a nice mm -hmm. restaurant. I mean, Siena is one of my favorite spa yeah, yeah. spots right now. Great restaurant, good bar life, mm -hmm. you know. Um, RPM's a nice restaurant in River North. Mm -hmm. I live right by Navy Pier, so those are kind of the areas that I frequent the most. And I actually probably should get out of the city a little bit more. <laughs> but you know, you get you get so comfortable in the places that you want to go to. But um, any place with good Italian food is yeah. gonna is gonna <laughs> win number one. But uh, there's you know this is the beauty of Chicago. Whatever you are looking for, if you want to do the club scene, we got plenty of that. <laughs> the bar scene is more my speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And what are some perks from being a co-host? one of the biggest Chicago shows on television right now. Well, guys like you asked me to do their <laughs> show. Uh, you know, the best thing, honestly, is probably um, you get reservations a little bit easier. And um, I love going to concerts, and, and um, you, sometimes you get, you get to meet some of the artists. I mean, I think that's the coolest thing, is you get to meet the guys and the, the musicians, the actors that you grew up yeah. watching on the big screen, and now they're sitting right next to you. Like we just had Greg Kinnear on my show today. Uh, Oscar nominated actor and I remember watching him in As Good As It Gets or You've Got yeah. Mail in the 90s and now he's sitting right next to you and the same can be said with you know with with Mike Tyson or Jimmy yeah. Kimmel we've been really really fortunate I think our staff has done an incredible job of bringing in marquee talent and some of the biggest you know Hollywood stars yeah. right here to Chicago and so I guess meeting them is probably the coolest thing that I get to do every day okay cool um, let's see, any, you know, any big plans you have planned for the summer that, you know, that you're working on that you want to get out there? Anything? Well, I just found out I'm going to Norway, actually, oh, for work. Sweet. Yeah, I'm going to Norway. Uh, we're going to go shoot some, some bits for Windy City Live there. I know, out of all places, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, it's because Disney has a connection there, I think, because of the film Frozen that was so popular. Oh, I, I think okay. that's the connection. It's like an adventure trip that you do in Norway. So uh, I'm going to do that. I've never been there. And uh, I keep saying that I'm going to plan a trip to Italy. And maybe now that I'm saying it again on camera, <laughs> I'll actually do it. Because I, I, I really have to go back and uh, kind of trace the roots and stuff yeah. of my family. So that would be great. Okay, cool. And uh, where does Ryan Chivarini see himself in five years from now? Whew, that's tough. <laughs> that's a tough one. Uh, you know, w hopefully Windy City Live continues to grow and expand. Mm -hmm. I mean, we would love to see our show get a little bit bigger and maybe being a little bit more households and more cities mm -hmm, yeah. that would be fantastic and that's that's a dream but um you know i never really i i never like pinpoint exactly what i want to do because I, I i think that you should you know work hard be focused on on being in the moment mm -hmm. and hopefully some other opportunities arise out yeah. of that uh and it may be in addition to doing windy city i would love to do shows like like the voice and the stuff like that yeah, yeah. I, I love those kind of shows, so maybe, maybe I'll be doing some stuff like that, but I don't want to um, forget, you know, where I'm at now yeah. and, and really enjoy this, this ride because, you know, sometimes you spend your life thinking, oh, i got to get to the next yeah. goal, and I did that for a lot of years. I didn't really get to enjoy my 20s much mm -hmm. because I kept saying, oh, I want to be here in five years. I want to be here, mm -hmm. and you didn't look like right in front of you and go, you know what, i got a pretty good life yeah. going right now, and so that's what I'm really trying to do right now. Um, in my 30s. I'm just trying to really feel blessed and know how lucky I am to be doing the show I'm doing. Okay, cool. And uh, lastly, what advice would you give someone, you know, just trying to get into the broadcasting television industry? Uh, I'd go to medical school. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough business. Um, I don't like to discourage people, but I always tell, I always tell everybody, I mean, it's, 
this business has gotten so much more difficult because there's just fewer jobs. Even though we have yeah. more channels, we have a lot. Uh, our staffs are smaller. If you saw our staff on Windy City, yeah. it's amazing that we're putting on you know the the amount of television that we are. Yeah. Um, but there's not as much revenue in television. But um, don't let that stop you. Like if, if it's what you want to do, and if you want, if you want to, you'll probably be kicking me out of Windy City Live in five years. Yeah. But um, you know, if it's what you really want to do, you you got to make every single effort that you could. My first job was in Great Falls, Montana. So when I speak to classes. And I made $15,000 a year, by the way. And when I speak, and this was only 14 years ago. When I speak to classes, I always tell them, if you're not willing to pack up all of your stuff and go move to Anchorage, Alaska, or wherever, mm -hmm. and make zero money to start, <laughs> uh, and work every night, weekend, holiday. I worked 11 straight Christmases. I mean, Whoa. if you're not willing to do that, it's not the right business for you. Because you're going to have to sacrifice and give up a lot for this industry. But once you, you know, get to where you want to be and once you make it, I think that it's all worth it, you know? Mm -hmm. So d don't let anybody tell you no. If people tell you no and say they're not going to hire you, you go knock on five more doors. That's yeah. what you got to do. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. You know, I've had, <laughs> hey, I, had, I had plenty of doors that were closed early on in my career mm -hmm. and people didn't want to hire me. And I remember being like bitter toward them for a little bit, you know? And then when I got a job, you know, in like Chicago, I wanted to like call every one of them and tell them, hey, five years ago, you didn't want to hire me. But you know what? You can't, you don't, let it, let it fuel you positively yeah. and make you want to, you know, keep doing what you're doing. But hey, right now for you, you're doing it. Yeah, I'm trying. Doing, you, I saw you interview Jennifer Hudson, man. Yeah. You're doing all right. I'm trying, I'm trying, you know. Let's keep doing it. Yeah, keep going. You know? That's right. Yeah, you know, it's uh, Nick Gale, Gale, the guy you know. It's a wrap on this interview with Ryan Shagrini. Thanks again so much for you know taking the time. My pleasure. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks, Nick. Thanks.